I don't think you guys met Esteban yet. Esteban. Esteban Ernesto. <laughs> it's a nice fucking shoe, right, bro? And the pictures, I didn't really like the blue, but now that I see it in person, Yo, bro, that blue is fire. Bro, I, that's why I was skeptical, because I'm like, <laughs> nobody hit me up when I, put, when I put up the first picture that, that my connect sent me. When I took the picture and put them up yesterday, bro, my phone's going crazy for these. Guys, this is not the shock drop. The shock drop was a couple days ago. Ben had them since two weeks ago. They were a little bit pricey, so I wasn't promoting them too much, but just got a few pairs, a whole size run, I think yeah, the day before yesterday. I'm in love with these. Like This blue is super, super nice. Like It's such a nice vibe. I think they come out the 28th. Today's what, the 11th? Early bird gets the worm. Your favorite reseller's reseller. <laughs> I'm taking you somewhere today, so you gotta get in the car. We're on a mission. We got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to discuss. Change the plan. I wanna take you somewhere. I wanna take you out somewhere nice. You know what I mean? We're going on a little date today. Yeah. We, you actually going on a date. Yeah. I gotta drop three pairs off, but we'll do that later. Let's go handle this. Yeah, he's not up. He's going back to sleep. Is he serious? Is the camera rolling? Yeah. What the fuck? He was, he was dead asleep. Dead Saw asleep. the ball, woke up. Yo, what the <laughs> hell? Stop. Now you wanna be shy? What's that face? Why you put that face? That mean face. Papa Willy, Papa Willy. <laughs> look at me, I got the diaper bag on and shit. We look like a gay couple. <laughs> 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 we like we're together. Uh, we, what's that shit called? Surrogates? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Oh, don't start there. Don't start. It'll be bad. I'm telling This is. This is. Dame uno. Dame uno, Y dame uno de estos. Y dos, uno de estos. Sí. Dono, dame dos. Bueno, esos son los mismos, los, los son los mismos, ¿verdad? Pero uno con mango y uno con chocolate. Peach. Pero la misma crema, ¿verdad? Dame el de, el de peach. Y ya. Guys, what the fuck is up YouTube? You're probably wondering, what the hell is he doing? Yes, what am I doing? I'm gonna enjoy this real quick and then we'll talk about it. But just know, we needed this. The body needed this. I swear to God, the body needed this. You know, if you do the work, you work hard enough, dreams come true. You know that, we all know that. But hopefully what you get from tonight is the understanding that um, those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And if you guys can understand that, then what you'll see happen is that you won't accomplish your dreams. Your dreams won't come true. Uh, something greater will. Life is going to happen. And you're gonna set up a plan and you're gonna have a vision and you're gonna hope that it's gonna turn out perfect. But what so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're gonna have to choose your reaction. You have a choice to make. Do you have the right reaction or do you have the wrong reaction? Some of us were tempted, I'll just lay here and it will pass over me. I'm telling you, you will be in a vicious cycle forever. You have to get up. Some of you have been knocked out by light and you got up and saw the blood, you, uh, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. 
Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your wives going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your wives going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your wife. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Why do you keep crying? Why me, God? Why did I get MS? Why did I get cancer? Why did my mama die? Why did I get fired? Do you understand? Listen, you got put through that because what that does, that tension produces greatness. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Now listen to me, I don't care if you're sick, I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you're waking up, you're still in the game. As long as you're alive, you can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils boo, you're still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I just, oh, E, I don't know if this going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. Get emotional if you must. Cry if you must. Get it out. But get your butt back up after you finish crying and put a time limit on the grind. You say, coach, I need 30 minutes. Don't take it. But when you come back after that 31 minute, you better grind. Because if you don't, you'll be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here. And I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university until I'm successful. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity opportunity until I get it. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? Overcoming failure. Listen to me. If you're successful in this room, you've, you've, you've reached any level of success, you know that failure is a part of it. It's the ego that gets in the way when you look at failure as something negative. Failure is just a way, some say, to try it again but to try it differently and try it better. It, it, that, does that make sense? It doesn't mean quit, give up, poor me, overthink it, stop, say I'm not gonna do it, woe is me, that's not what it means. It means that you did a great job, but you didn't execute. Everybody say it with me, execution is worship. Come on, execution is worship. Listen to me very closely. No, nobody is gonna fire you if you execute. People fire you if you try hard and don't execute. Look at this guy. Change of plans. And I want to explain to you guys in depth why going on and what happened. But first off, I need you guys to understand I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on you. Excuse me. I'm not giving up on you guys. 
this is just a little hurdle in the in the process of things happening. You know what I'm saying? It's things that we can't control. You only can control, yeah, baby. You only can control what you can't control. Other than that, it's all in God's hands. You know, so this right here is left in God's hands. The decision I'm about to tell you guys about right now. I'm just gonna enjoy this a little refeed and to refuel myself. My body needs it. Just want to recharge, bro. You know, now it's time. We're gonna talk about how we're gonna focus on things moving forward. How we're gonna plan things moving forward. How much, how I'm gonna provide for you guys even more moving forward because a lot of you guys been showing love a lot of you guys are commenting asking for different type of um content and that's what i'm here to do i'm here to provide i want to provide each and everything you guys ask for so with that being said we are not competing july 29th we are pushing things back we're gonna grow and we're gonna do things a little differently so i'm gonna enjoy this and we'll talk about it in a second guys so although i feel like shit, i feel good oxymoron but it is what it is. And I'm just here to talk to you guys about it. We got, a, we got a lot to talk about. And it's nothing bad, but for the most part, what really happened was unfortunate and devastating. Not in a bad way. You know, it's like nothing health-wise, nothing that I need to go get checked or anything like that. It's just more of a mental state and your body. Like, you have to know your body. Like, this sport is real big on your body. Like, if you don't, understand and listen to your body you will cause different things and you could get hurt and be end up in a bad situation as far as health or whatever can be so we're gonna avoid all of that we're gonna avoid getting sick we're gonna avoid getting hurt what's gonna happen was we pushed back on the show we took we pulled out why because our body isn't responding how we would like it to respond it could be for many reasons it could be due to the stress on the body you know at the end of the day i've been prepping since what january so we just did a show, then we try to push through to the next show to get to a better point. But at the end of the day, we gotta listen to our body. There's nothing that nobody can do to control it. It wasn't Kyle's fault, it wasn't my fault. I spoke to Kyle today, and we left it up to today to make a decision whether of we're not gonna push due to our weight. Our weight hasn't, went, hasn't been going down, it was going back up. We hit a slow of 203, then we ended up going back up to like 209, ended up back at like 210, 211. So we're trying to figure out, because the diet was there, Everything was there, work was getting done, work was getting put in, but body was plateauing. So that just means that the body's under a lot of distress. That means that you have to take a break. So we took three days off, we started looking better. Definitely dropped a little bit of weight, but I said to myself, hey, I gotta be honest with myself, I gotta be real with myself, I gotta be real with you guys. Is it worth pushing through and going to that show only 5% better rather than 100% better or 10% better? Or just take a couple steps back, rejuvenate, heal, and take these next couple months off to put on at least 10 to 15 pounds of muscle all muscle take a good off season and come back 110 percent a thousand percent better come back better than ever it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer you know what i'm saying i thought that we was gonna push through the show come back with an even better conditioning yeah that was the goal that's what i wanted to do but my body said otherwise my body said chill take a break dave which is okay the body says to take a break take a break i told you guys all the time you have to know your body you have to listen to your body because at the end of the day i don't want to stop i didn't want to give up i don't want to quit i feel like a little bitch right now I'm gonna be honest, I feel like a little ass bitch. I don't wanna do it. I've been contemplating this whole weekend. I just came back from a cabin. I took a getaway to get my mind right, to, to ease off everything, to see where I, what I should do, how I should do it, how I'm gonna execute. And honestly, like, the only thing that was stopping me was like, yo, you being a little bitch. And I also have to put that mentality aside because I'm the type of person that I'm going to all hell break loose. I'm not giving up, I'm not letting up. I don't care what happens. I don't care what you say, I don't care what she says, I don't care what he said. I'm going in, I'm going for the kill. But at the end of the day, I have to listen to my body. We're gonna take this time off, we're gonna grow, we're gonna put on this muscle, and we're gonna focus on everything that needs to be worked on, all our weak points, all the points that need to, need to be executed, whether it's good or bad, whether it's this or that, I'm still gonna be on a full, full, full 110% diet. What we did right now was just, uh, just to, to refeed, just to give the body some of the stuff that it needed, just so that I could feel better, come back to life, whatever the case may be, but I cannot continue that because I will fuck my rebound up. I will fuck up the, the reverse. I still have to reverse properly. I have to do everything properly. You guys will be a part of the process, but now, guess what? Now I can give you guys the food channels that you guys wanted. Not just meal prepping for a show, because that's boring. I'm gonna be honest, that's boring. That's not something that you guys can do because you guys are not prepping for a show. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, now I can literally, literally sit here and do a full day of eating of stuff that you guys can relate to, stuff that you guys can go ahead and cook. So, oh shit, this is what they've eaten for the week. I'm gonna go eat that too. This is what they've done. I, right, I'm gonna go do that too because now it's more relatable. So now I'm gonna be more relatable with you guys. I'm gonna focus on coaching. I'm gonna focus on my clients. I'm gonna focus on everything overall so that 
everything unfolds and unravels how it should be. And now it's just straight. Everything's on the demon time. Everything's on demon time. It's been demon time, but now it's demon time with more to offer, with more, way more to relate to. Because a lot of, I've been getting a lot of comments. Somebody comment, yo, what supplements do you take? Can you do a video on your supplements? Yo, can you do a, a day in the life of your food? I didn't want to do it because my food was low. What you guys gonna get out of that? You guys aren't gonna get nothing out of that. We're gonna do the food. We're gonna focus on training. We're gonna focus on coaching. We're gonna focus on growing, growing. So you guys are gonna be a part of the whole process. You're gonna see how we're gonna grow. Put on these 10 to 15 pounds of straight muscle. Obviously, our abs might not be there anymore. Sadly, unfortunately, but it's okay. You feel me? We got this new little Esteban going on. We're gonna, we got a couple things in stores, bro. What I need you guys to do is hold me accountable. Just like I'm gonna hold you guys accountable, hold me accountable as well. Make sure, yo, where Dave, where you at? What you posted today? What you doing this? What's going on? What's the update? Physique update, all of that. How much you weigh right now? I don't care. Let's do it. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. We're gonna focus up. We're gonna get to it. And I don't realize it because I try to put everything in a basket and just juggle all the way around, which is, I, I, I could do it at times, but then there's times where your body says, yo, chill the fuck out and take a step back. So this is one of those moments. It's just a speed bump on the road. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep driving. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Don't ever think that I'm gonna stop. Don't ever think that this is, yo, this is an excuse. You, you a bitch, you a pussy, man, call me what you want. It is what it is, I'm not stopping. You guys are just gonna see even more of me now. Even more of me at a better potential, higher energy, more done, more stuff you can relate to, more everything, more everything, more of everything, bro. Everything, I'm still pushing to get sponsored, I'm still pushing to be great, I'm still pushing to go pro, I'm still pushing for everything. But now, <clears throat> we're just gonna do it at a better position. Now we're gonna do it a thousand percent better. Now we're gonna actually be the best version of ourselves. You feel me? Now we're gonna really focus and do what we gotta do, guys. So, with that being said, I just want you guys to stay tuned, stay watching, I'm gonna fulfill all, all you guys' requests, everything you guys been asking me for, everything you guys been commenting on, I'm gonna get to it. We're gonna be full throttle on everything, bro. Instagram gotta give it up, YouTube gotta give it up, everybody gotta give it up, because we pushing. I love you guys, love is love. Don't forget, I ain't going nowhere. Let's get it.